Mansion Good, Affordable Eats, in Toa Peo, and the one Singapore dollar Nasi Lamak from Muslim Food, Stall Kidayamokan Muhajirin, at Lorong 7, probably comes to mind. But did you know that just a few doors from the Kopishim is another budget gem, Omzin Cake Confectionery? The traditional bakery sells old school buns at just one Singapore dollar for a pack of two to four rolls, a steal given today's rising costs. It's run by 73 year old baker, Opo, who has been selling his buns at the same price for more than two decades. Despite operating at the current premises for 16 years, the bakery, which is decked out with a hodgepodge of garish wrapping paper and tablecloth, is one of the best kept secrets in Toa Peo. Its customers are mostly regulars living in the area and even our friends who frequent the hawker centre nearby didn't know of its existence. Honestly, we are not surprised as the bakery is shut most of the day. Opo only opens shop for 4 hours, from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. on Tuesdays, Thursdays and weekends. I'm old, I get aches and pains if I work daily. I want to retire, but I can't bear to shut the business. I'm also afraid I'd be bored if I don't work, so I just do this for fun, the jovial Opo told 8days.sg. He has three sons, age 40 to 50, but lives alone. This is why I don't make a lot of bread and I sell it cheap. I just need to make enough money to cover ingredient costs and rent, he said. Rental for the shop house, inclusive of the flat upstairs, is around 3,000 Singapore dollars. Though customers have urged him to raise prices, Opo is reluctant. There are a lot of elderly folks living in the neighborhood and some are really struggling. They can't afford to even pay one Singapore dollar. This is the reality. Sometimes, I just accept a few cents from them or give them bread for free, he shared. The bakery sells around 20 varieties of old-school buns with fillings like coconut, curry potato, red bean and hay hayam. All baked fresh by Opo. He has been plying the trade for more than six decades, first as an apprentice before starting his own business 30 years ago. He continues to churn out bread the traditional way, without preservatives and in a deck oven. If you're wondering why this old-school bakery has such a non-traditional name, that's because the signboard belongs to the previous tenant. I was told by the landlord that I couldn't change it so I used the one from the previous bakery, explained Oppo. His shop is not related to the Omzin cake outlets in Bukit Mera and Bukit Betak. Before this, Opo ran Singapore Bakery at Upper Thompson Road for six years. He relocated to Toa Peo in 2008 when the landlord wanted the space back. Mediacorp used to film drama shows at my bakery. The late Huang Wanyong, Christopher Lee, and Fan Wong used to frequent my shop and we would bake fresh buns for them, he recalled. Opo, who lives in the HDB flat above the bakery. Starts his day at midnight, baking at the store before opening at 4 a.m. He single-handedly churns out more than 1,000 buns. He sometimes leaves the store unmanned when he's busy in the kitchen and customers just leave their money on the table. When we dropped by before 7 a.m. on a weekday, the shop was surrounded by customers and more than half of the day's offerings had already been snapped up. We promptly grabbed a few packs of buns. By 7.30 a.m., all the buns were sold out, disappointing several customers who came after that. Why not open later in the day instead so he can sleep in and more people can buy his bakes? All already. Cannot sleep, our poor replied with a laugh. He's also used to working overnight as a baker, having been doing this for decades. When I sell out, I will quickly close shop, then go have a coffee and chat with my neighbor before going home to take a nap. He quipped.
The popular coconut bun was sold out when we visited the store, but we got to try it thanks to a sweet customer who gave us a roll from her stash. This is no mini roll, but a palm-sized bun. The soft fluffy bread is loaded with grated coconut and brown sugar filling, which is mildly sweet and pleasantly moist. We were also impressed with the generous filling. Of all the buns we tried, we like this curry one best. The hand-sized bun is stuffed with tender diced potato, coated with flavorful and slightly sweet curry. The hot dog bun is just as good. Nothing fancy, just a chicken frank wrapped in a bun, but very nostalgic. For one Singapore dollar, you get four white lotus buns, each around the size of a square white dinner roll. We normally find such buns cloying. But this is not overly sweet. Not bad. Besides buns, Alpo also sells K Buhulu, 2 Singapore dollars for 14, 5 Singapore dollars for 42. These mini sponge cakes are fluffy and eggy, but the crust is not as crisp as we'd like.